Our very own reporter Jordan Sheridan was recently arrested while covering the protests in St. Louis. Now, uh, there were mass arrests in St. Louis following um, a number of protesters who were blocking the highway, Highway 40 to be specific, uh, and also King's Highway. Um, at Kings Highway to be specific. Also, a police spokeswoman said that about 143 people were arrested for blocking traffic. And so that was to be expected, uh, but luckily nothing turned violent. Uh, you know, none of the protesters were violent whatsoever. What is a cause for concern is how the media was treated simply for doing their job, simply for covering these protests. Jordan Sheridan happened to be one of those reporters. And so the video that you're watching right now is you know, police officials not only arresting the protesters, but later on in this video, you see them first arresting Ty, who is the cameraman for Jordan. And then they proceed to arrest Jordan and detain him. He was detained for 16 hours. Now he asked several times over and over again, arrest? why am I being arrested? Why are they being arrested? They refused arrest? to answer any of the questions. Let's put the arrest? audio do up a little bit so we can watch. Do not face uh, me so again. He, he's about to pepper spray me. He said, do not face me again. <laughs> do not face me again, he said. Do not face me again. Hey, you have any weapons on you, sir? So he just arrested uh, my camera guy there. Great. Are you arresting the people with cameras first? No, we're arresting you. You are under arrest. For for what? For being on the highway, you're under arrest. For, yes. Okay. So they're locking up the media. Everybody here is under arrest. They're locking up the media here. Hey, Mel, what's up? What's going on? Hey, they look like my mom. Please, So they're arresting, it seems. Uh, All right, so you can watch uh, the rest of Jordan's video uh, on youtube.com slash TYT politics. And I also uh, did an interview with Jordan after he was released, and you can watch the full interview on youtube.com slash the Young Turks. But uh, I do want to show you some highlights of that interview so you kind of get a sense of what happened, why he was arrested. They claim that he was blocking uh, the road, but he was filming and reporting on what was going on. and. Uh, they never charged him with anything. So uh, enough of my commentary, my thoughts. I, I wanna go to the first video where Jordan explains exactly how everything went down. Take a look. Was there ever any official explanation for why they arrested you and other independent journalists? All I heard was uh, you're all going to jail. I haven't heard anything about why we were arrested. Uh, in paperwork in the jail, I did see uh, trespassing. Uh, I'm assuming they're saying trespassing on the highway. I don't really get that since it's a public highway, but uh, you know, I guess the lawyers will figure that out. Uh, but we got no paper, we got no pa paperwork, no formal charges. And again, uh, they did not tell the protesters at the protest, you know, to disperse. They didn't tell them you're being arrested for uh, at, sta at Standing Rock. Not always, but in in many cases, they would tell you this is what you're being arrested for. That didn't happen in this case. And as far as the journalists. Uh, you know, when Ty and myself were saying, you know, no, no, uh, kind of dumbfounded actually, like we're the press. Mm -hmm. they, they did not care, they just arrested us. And this is not, uh, this is not a first. They arrested a reporter from the St. Louis Dispatch about a week ago, uh, one of the local papers here. And they've arrested other journalists here uh, covering the protests over the two weeks. So uh, either the St. Louis Police Department doesn't have a copy of the Constitution or they do and they don't care. But no, we were never told why we were being arrested. I mean, there is a raging debate in the country regarding the First Amendment and the free speech and our free speech rights. And it always, always has to do with whiny conservatives who specifically go to liberal college campuses and complain because they get protested. And look, we support. Uh, you know the arguments made by those conservatives because they should be allowed to speak on those college campuses. But where's the mainstream press when it comes to this issue? You have independent journalists being arrested simply for doing their jobs. That is a violation of the First Amendment. It is absurd that this happened. And you know Jordan spent 16 hours in a jail for doing his job, 
and never got formally charged for anything. Well, uh, first of all, I, I, I do gotta say kudos to Jordan and Ty and the way they handled it. I mean, I did watch the full video uh, of the arrest and it seemed like they both handled it uh, perfectly. I mean, I mean, Jordan was asking the questions um, and, and he was you know, very diplomatic in the way he handled it. Um, saw him in DC recently, we're both V-neck t-shirt enthusiasts, mm -hmm. uh, so <laughs> kudos. But, um, but Steve O made the comment, I mean, the police surrounded these people. The analogy Steve O made was it was Game of Thrones style. Right. They kind of surrounded them in this group. And uh, gee, it's nice that the police were nonviolent while stripping First Amendment rights away from people. Uh, but I'd rather they just not strip First Amendment rights away from people. You know, call me an idealist. You are idealist. <laughs> How you like it? Wouldn't we live in a great society where um, you know our lawmakers and those in positions of power cared as much about our First Amendment rights as they do about our Second Amendment rights? Mm -hmm. I mean, it doesn't seem like they do, right? Because First Amendment rights would allow you to speak truth to power. It would allow the the media to uncover and reveal uh, the corruption of those in power. The the you know, unlawful actions of those in power. It's just, it's so devastating that, that not only that this happened, but that it's completely under the radar. No one seems to be paying attention to it. Oh Yeah, and it's not the first. I mean, I, I like that you brought up how the corporate media is silent. I mean, the corporate media was also silent at Dapple. When, right. when stuff went down with uh, uh, yes. Amy Schlossberg and Amy Goodman, they were completely silent on that. They never talked about it at all. Instead, they talk about like, oh, the, the White House folks were rude to people in the briefing room after they turned off their cameras. <laughs> I mean, if you look at what, what Chelsea Manning did, Chelsea Manning did was she, she gave stuff to to a, a newspaper outlet, right? Same thing with um, uh, Snowden. Right. They gave it to it. These were people giving, trying to help journalists. Uh, Not help. just help journalists. These were whistleblowers that were disclosing what our government was doing. That was illegal. That was illegal, exactly. And yes. that is the reason why they were met with, um, you know, such force right. from our government. Tortured. Yeah. Chelsea Manning was literally tortured. Right, so uh, and that was under Barack Obama's watch. So yes, we've become, we now live in a surveillance state. They now got rid of habeas corpus. The government now uses the surveillance state to tap the phones and read the emails of journalists, right? That's why they wanna do this. They don't, they're, it's not to get terrorists. They wanna make sure there aren't any journalists who are getting too close to the corruption that's inside our government. And that's why they wanna have every email, text, and phone call that a journalist makes, so that, or an activist, so that's what this is about. This is about oppression. This is not, not about protection, okay? So we live in a surveillance state, but the thing, my point was, it's odd that the media doesn't scream about this more than this media does. Thomas Frank said the same thing happens in academia. Like there's people who feel like they've made it. They're the tenured professors and they don't care what happens to the rest of the profession. And he says it feels the same way in the media. I got mine and I don't care what that's, happens to the rest of them. And it's so a weird, true. it's like the, well, first of all, was the, the title of the video I made about this was was called uh, Journalism's Death Rattle Going Unnoticed by Journalists. It was demonetized. We that heard journalists, journalism's feelings. We heard journalism's we heard feelings with journalism that video. They space. demonetized that video where I said, all because I said the death rattle of journalism's going unnoticed by journalists. But that's so weird. I thought they only demonetized videos done by conservatives and uh, <laughs> classical liberals. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Well, uh, I'm a classical liberal. You know, I mean, I'm meaning I'm conservative with libertarian middle, and I'm kind of a centrist. <laughs> That's what a classic liberal is. We all you know that. You should do that. a Reddit AMA on it. And then, and then yeah. never talk about it? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, so I wanna go to one more video where uh, Jordan does address uh, the mainstream media's uh, silence and also absence at these uh, protests. Let's go to video 14. And there hasn't been any coverage of uh, your arrest or any journalist being arrested in the mainstream press at all whatsoever, uh, which is a little troublesome considering the fact that there's a huge debate going on in the country in regard to the First Amendment. Uh, it turns out that right. whenever there are criticisms uh, toward those who violate the First Amendment, it has to do with uh, college students who protest speeches by conservative uh, individuals. But when it comes to actual journalists covering a protest, uh, First Amendment violations don't seem to be the concern of anyone, which should worry everyone that works in media, including those in the mainstream. Um, have you have you had anyone reach out to you to ask you questions about your experience or why it was that you got arrested? Uh, literally, I'm like 45 minutes 
since being released. So between my uh, overbearing Jewish mother calling me and yelling at me uh, at 16,000 texts, uh, no, but I, I have been told that there hasn't been any of the you know corporate media journalists like you would think a CNN's Brian Stelter or some of these people that cover media. I, I, I've been told, uh, you know, as far as I could see, uh, they haven't said anything, which is surprising to me because, like, whether you're corporate media, independent media, uh, Young Turks, Breitbart, I mean, the bottom line is. No one uh, should be arrested while they're covering anything unless they are breaking the law. And, and in this case, you were not breaking the law. You were simply uh, filming what was going on, asking some questions. It's just, it's crazy. I don't know. Um, but. If we allow this to continue and and we allow, you know, those in power to stop journalists, actual journalists from uncovering what's going on in the country, we don't have a democracy. You know, at real journalism is such a huge and important part of a functioning democracy. You don't have a democracy without an informed and educated electorate. And when I say educated, I'm not talking about college degrees. I'm talking about people who know what's going on in the country, who know the facts about what's going on, who know about the corruption, who know about the brutality. And unfortunately, you know, this will continue happening because you're right, Jimmy. Those who have already made it in the corporate media, they're they're bringing in the money. Oh yeah, right. They're making money with those million dollar contracts. They're living the good life. They're part of that entire corporate structure, corporate mm -hmm. uh, corrupt structure that yes. we have in the country. And and it's not it's not real journalism. You know, they'll talk about nonsense, 24 hours a day. You know. But they won't talk about things that actually matter to the American people. And when you have real journalists who do that, and we don't protect them from getting arrested like this, and we don't protect our constitutional rights, that's when we have a real problem. That's when we give away our democracy. Help us build independent media. Become a member of the Young Turks. TYTnetwork.com slash join.